Container widget, we did that in the last video. Now let us add an image to this container. I have already done a video of it. Create a folder called images in the project folder. Add the image you want to display to it. Now go to pubspec.yaml file and enter the image path in the assets section. Now all we have to do is in the main.dart file. Now you can remove the padding and margin on the container. You can replace the text with an image in the child. Image Asset image. Then enter the image path and name. The image display is OK. Now you can copy and paste the container for a while. Let's make a column and paste it. Child column. In it we can add container. Container is a single child widget. But the column is a multi-child widget. We can still place the same container. We can change the color white to green. OK, both containers are on display. Thirdly, the container itself can be added as a child. The color can be given yellow. All we have to do is display the three containers vertically because we have added a column. Let us now look at some of its alignments. Vertical direction. 
Vertical direction dot up. Then align from bottom to top. White below. Green on top of it. Yellow is at the top. Select the vertical direction dot down. It is default alignment. Let's see how the main axle alignment is. Main axis alignment. Main axis alignment dot start. That is the default. Dot end. The total is as below. If the center is given, everything will be aligned with the center. If the space evenly is given, it can be seen that equal space is taken and aligned. Given space between. You can see that all the widgets are aligned by putting some space between them. Let us now see what is cross axis alignment. Cross axis alignment. Give the cross axis alignment dot end. No difference now. This is because all the containers are the same size. Let's increase the width of a container to 300. Come to its end alignment. If we create an invisible container, we can do this without going through other alignments. No items are given in the container, only the width is given. Width double dot infinity. Okay. To make the width of each container to end, just give width double dot infinity. Okay. We can do this in another way. We can remove all the width of the container. Then simply give the column cross axis alignment dot stretch. Now we can add a space between the container. Just add that sized box. Sized box height 20. Okay, we can see the small space. Put same sized box after next container.
Now let us look at the row widget. Before that we can remove this image widget. We can change the image and replace it with a text widget. Text. Hello. The same can be given in three containers. OK. Now change the column to row. The rest of the functions are all the same. Here we need to change the width instead of the sized box height. Okay, this is a row widget.